goes back and forth, though, Pantheon jungle is very viable. Well, Trophy right now looking at the hover on set mid. He's played it five times already. Right now, uh, you know, after the invades, not a lot of opportunities for him. The last one remaining would be Chovy mid lane, but this is a ghost flash set. He's taken double mobility summoner spells for himself to greatly increase the possibilities of navigating through these team fights. Um, I do think the extra attention to mobility for set pays off really, really huge. Um, and allows him, you know, not to have to go for the phase rush. Here's Ghost Pops. Ghost Burn flashes in, gets into it. That's going to be a lot of damage. Is it going to be there for the kill? Not just yet. The flash in Piosik. He gets himself first blood. The counter gank is in. And honestly, forced to run away. Not going to chase for any more than that. But first blood, the DRX. Double mobility. They have full control. And they can start that dragon stacking pretty early on. And the fact that bot lane is freezing right now is going to be another 6 CS difference. It's 16 different right now. It's going to be 22 in about a minute's time right there. DRX got the first shove. Better than that uh, as he builds up the early CS for himself, rushing towards that Sunfire Cape. Bottom side minion wave held in a very good spot. Slow already landed, no flash. As soon as they walk into the lane, that's going to be a stun. It's going to be so much damage. No way out. Kyo 642 and 0. A shockwave hits Jovi for a bit of his health, but it's not going to matter. He's still got the shield ready. And just walks away, no problem. Three stomps here at the World Championship group stage right now. Can look for it again. Yeah, they're going for round two. Ash Arrow is not up, but the Pantheon combo is going to be no problem. He's going to go for the W, gets that on to Alistair. Headbutts away, but he's not going to live. Looks for an auto attack stun and kill number three goes to Piosik. We knew Ooh. bot lane was going to be the focus of the CC lane, and it has been. Beef is still on the menu, Freak. No <laughs> level six for Alistair. No round. Again, flash ready on Alistar. They can 100% to zero. And that felt early. He wasn't in range or didn't get the go ahead to headbutt Pulverize, and ultimately nothing happens. Carries says, all right, I'll walk backwards, no problem here, and walks away from it. Nice job for Pioza. He wants in. You gotta be kidding me. Headbutt Pulverize comes in. Over the top comes the arrow. They just chain stunned this poor Evelyn, and it's gonna be a headbutt there. Not gonna matter. Two kills picked up, two on the board for Caria. His rookie year at the World Championship about to dominate this game. Now his boss is on the way out. He TP'd in. It is not going to matter. Ult comes across, and it's a triple kill for Pantheon support. Ooh, first day of group freak, and we just got massacre after massacre Whoa! on our hands. DRX are not done. They find the extra kill here. Piosik is on fire. Dragon will get picked up immediately after for this team, and they've blown it just wide open. Bottom gap is wide. He read his mind. The javelin came out before the flash. He flashes into it, says thanks for the pounce target. I got you here, and now Chovy in the sideline wants this fight. Nice stun, build some space, and now Chovy on the chase of No Man's. Dunk comes in for the slow. Thankfully for his teammates, he's around. Nice punch comes in, they'll find not even the charm. He built enough time, but there's gotta be enough for the kill. So finally, one comes on the board. Unicorns of Love have a scoreboard to at least look at. Here. Way too much of an overstep by a carrier. Can't immune enough damage, and that's gonna mean a turret on the board. In fact, it'll be first turret to Unicorns of Love. So yes, the deficit is still large, but big signs of life with a couple of kills coming through. Backwards to stay safe. Shock it by some time. Chovy is going to put up the shield, but he's at half HP. All the ulti cooldowns will come back in time for the dragon fight in two minutes. Meanwhile, mid turret is under fire. And here comes the Orn Horn. Here comes the engage. A nice headbutt. Still means it comes through. And that is goodbye to Santos. And right in front of him, they're going to find Boss now as well. Able to jump away though and stay alive. Still one for zero. And the turret dropped as well. Second charge comes through from the second Rift Herald. And mid lane tier two now very dangerously low. Root not going to land, but still DRX playing aggressively find another kill. Yeah, aggressive dive plus tower with the side for unicorns is going to allow them to return here uh, and pick up the extra easy gold that's still standing. Oh, they have found the honest thing. That is a slow. That's a lot of damage. His ulti is down. The flash engage is not quite enough. Can he take down Diff? Yes, the flash does not bring him to safety. So a one for one. Piosik is here. They find the knockup though. Big damage in the carrier. But now in comes the Italy. Does she have enough? A double kill for Boss. Trophy's coming around. He's ulti list. Boss waiting for his cooldowns. Gets the big stun, but it's not going to be now. Piosik is now dominating. The Nidalee is so far ahead. Finding a bunch of kills here. Here comes No Man's, though, so Piosik's got to call this one off. Oriana is in Caria looking for another play here. Control wards you can see defensively being put down by Unicorn to try and find. Oh, oh that is an Ash Arrow. That is the attempt ult away, but not in time. Woo. Goodbye, another pick off and a great shot by Deft. We have a history. A little leeway on that one. <laughs>
finds the kill. They 100% to zero the Evelyn, though, and, and this is going to be a very early soul point here for Dragon X as well. Nicely timed by Anonisek, grabs the blue, and Shovey is knocking down the top lane turret on tank set. All right, yeah, they're definitely having fun this time around. Support and jungle rise up. These are the two classically supportive roles, and yet DRX have them front and center. Baron picked up after. Uh, let's see if they get any sort of miracle ultimate through here from Jin. Should be blocked by DRX. Stack up, smite oh, early. Evelyn. Yeah, shot's not going to come. Theoretically, they did give a small avenue. They were a little bit uh, spaced out. Nice shock wave is going to deny Doran's ulti. Although the uh, re-engagement is really going to matter, but there's a flash over, there's a dunk into the wall, Gadget's got to run, he's trying to get away, and he's barely going to make his way out of this one. He's now looking for the re-engage, looking for the damage, not going to find anything more to do, it's time to run away. The Pantheon is now over the top, and Karia wants another, he's going to find it. Kill number six, support Pantheon. And he deserves out very, very heavily with the Baron buff. Another minute left, so they've got two more minion waves to work with if they want to. Not a sec, looking for the flank. Looking for some big damage, and a Piosic has to get back out, and here comes the re-engage possible from Orr, and he's not going to guess correctly. And he needs to turn invisible, and he's going to get spotted out. This is going to be a lot of damage. There's a red buff in the way. He holds backwards, and Piosic is legendary. Flashes over the Q. Asher is going to land. Maybe the least important target. Boss able to take. Going to be 4-0 in the dragon count, unless a miracle steal comes across. This seems very unlikely. And Cloud Soul comes in very, very early. I hope that this loss doesn't rattle them too hard. I know they're a very resilient team. You mentioned him uh, as he's making a lot of these aggressive plays, and they have plenty of CC to try and CC lock him and cash in there. That would be the first step in what would be a monumental comeback for the team. Team is stacked up. There's a Ward Graveyard right there in that side of the jungle, and here comes the engage. It's throwing coming in, finds the knockup. Santa's can't stop it in time, and the re-engage is going to be just so good for DRX. Dunks comes across. 1-0 so far. Pantheon over the top. It's time to run away. Unicorns of love. They want everything, and it's already a double kill for the jungler. Depth survives. The Maw certainly helps, and the chase down is on. Anonisic is running out of time. Chovy wants in a triple kill for Piosic, and there are two kills left to gain. LGD Flare comes out. Doesn't matter. There's the Quadra, and will they get all five? No man's, he's running back to the fountain. And you know, DRX would love to get that for Piosic's opening game of Worlds. Good God, man. 12 kills for the jungle Nidalee in the hands of Piosic here. He is popping off. Oh my goodness. And that's not going to be the pen. After Evelyn used the combo, used ult and flash. He knows there's nothing left for himself. Jumps right in to finish that one off. And Deft, you know, just lands a slow and then backs off for the next one. Great shockwave builds some space. Let's no man's walk away. Sun is waiting in the jungle, but with the work coming down, not an easy pickup. Now the other side, that is boss going down. Chovy is the boss here. It's in his name in TFT. A double kill there for Chovy, and now another re-engage. Pantheon shows up over the top. He's going to find the stun, puts up the shield, stays alive, and Pio Sick is on the chase. How many more kills will he get? Santa slowed down. Knockup available. Doran's not going to find that just yet, and the clap only comes in for a bit of damage, but this tower dive is going to happen. The headbutt, the ult, he's only going to buy some time. Pio Sick, he's legendary. He's legendary. He's legendary. 13-0 and 5. The Nexus turrets are now in the eyes of DRX. And they don't stand a chance. Let's see if they can get one last kill for Unicorns. Dora, Piosic's getting low, but he has Flash. Flashes for the KDA. Make sure he's not rude. The turrets are gone. And this is going to be the Nexus falling. DRX going to start with oh! 2020 with a shutdown on Piosic. <laughs>